Hey guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. So we got back to our island and then we headed out again. So we went to the island that is 80 east of where we started. And we're going to have a little jolly around here to see if we can find a carburetor for our super fast epic speedboat of doom. This was actually a decent freaking trek to get over here, I kid you not. What a nightmare. My uh, my fingers are suffering from repetitive strain injury from clicking constantly. It's a nightmare. Right, up onto the beach. Beat yourself, you fool. I see you, shark boy. I know lava girls around here somewhere. Was that is that right? Shark boy and lava. Was that? Yeah, I think that was right. Right, what's in here? These toolboxes never really. Oh, axe. These toolboxes never help me. Ooh, axe. So I can see, I thought I'd seen something underwater there that may have been a wreck, but I don't think it was because I can't see any bubbles. Right, let's head over here. That axe, I will not be taking that axe in one slot. I'd much rather take a load of wood. But, uh, or a load of sticks rather. I take a load of wood with me wherever I go. Oh, goggles! Oh, that is awesome! New swimming stuff. Hey! Ah, toolboxes are useful after all! Don your toolbox! You made me think you were crap! Ah, fooled again by inanimate objects. When will I ever learn? Those were awesome, actually. You didn't quite get to see them there because the, uh, the frickin' fog bank rolled in just to scupper my plans. As per usual. I can hardly see Jack all in front of me. Ah, hard case. What have you got? What have you got? Flippers? Ah, oh my god. Get freaking Jeez. No, binoculars. Actually, I was going to show you guys what binoculars done. Because they are quite possibly one of the worst items that I've ever seen in my life. You want to use binoculars? That's it. There you go. Zoop. That's it. Come on. Zoop, there you go, that's binoculars. Trash! Right, let's uh, let's have a look. I'm sure I've seen another, like a proper wreck on my way in that I could uh, I could scout out. But now that the freaking... Uh, now that this fog bank's rolled in, I can't really see anything. Was that it over there or was that the first one that we went to? I think that, I think that yeah, that was definitely the first one that we went to. There's a one over here. I I'm sure I just hit that one. Yeah, it seems like this is a uh, a rel relatively poor little island that we found, which is a nightmare considering how much I had to freaking paddle to get here. And the other annoying thing is I'm going to need to wait until this fog bank clears before I start heading home, because although I could get myself the uh, the general direction using a uh, using the compass. I'm not a big fan of heading off before I can actually see the island because that generally causes issues. Yeah, okay. It looks like we're going to be taking back some wood with us this time. Bow chicka bow wow and all that. Right, let's uh let's just chop this down here. Let's uh I've got no idea how I can influence the way at which this palm tree falls, so I'm just going to chop it from this side and hope that it falls not into the ocean, basically. No, it's falling into the ocean! No, push it! Well, that actually kind of worked. Um, let us... Yeah, let us feed ourselves as well. Might as well while we're here. There we go. It should only take the two coconuts to... to get both our hunger and thirst satiated. Alright, throw you away and throw you away. I'm gonna use the uh I'm gonna use this axe in my number two slot so that I can wear it down because I'm gonna be leaving this axe here. <laughs> Why are you try to attack the coconut man? There we go. Another two pieces of coconut and we should be Ah, we're actually full. Awesome. There we go. We can I can only actually take one trunk full of uh 
sticks back with me because that's all I've got. Oh no, I've got two trunk fulls of uh, three actually. Oh wow, I can take a lot of sticks back. Well, that's what happens when I get jack all. Actually, I tell a lie, this island was really great for the fact that it managed to get me some goggles and I'm happy with that. The only other thing that I would like would be some flippers. But that's awesome that we got the goggles, it'll make it a lot easier for seeing underwater. Come on, there we go. And I can have at least one more, but I'm going to want two more so I can create my little arrow. I'm going to need to wait until this bloody fog bank disappears. You know that, or I might just direct it anyway. I know roughly it's 80 east. Hmm. I might, uh, I might actually just try and set myself... Right, okay. Uh, 80 east is... 260 west, surely. Yes, 80 east is 260 west. Okay. Right, let's uh, grab these. Oh, no mind. No, nope, that's definitely not it. It's that one there. Okay. I need to make sure that the first one is at least pointing in the right direction. Right, come on. There we go. Right, okay. So we're pointing in the correct direction now. Let's uh, pop the rest of this crap in the right way. So we've got a little arrow in case anything untoward happens. Such as us disappearing in the middle of a fog bank and getting lost. Which was about to happen there. I'm actually glad that the fog bank came back because this arrow would have been way off. Actually, it might have pointed to the other one or it might have been confusing into which that it would have just got us lost anyway. Let's uh, pick up these sticks so that we can go home with them. And yes, let us drop said useless axe, drop you and pick you back up again. I, I should have chopped this, uh, this trunk with what was left of that other axe, but yeah. You know what, that's just min-maxing just a little bit too far. Considering the amount that we actually got, uh, the amount of axes that we've got so far from the wrecks that we've actually found, you know, I'm not too, I'm not too gutted about that. So it's this one here. It's the closest one to us. Let's just double check. It should be the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely us. As far as my compass is working, anyway. But you know, if I need a triangle and all that, we might not actually. be be working the way it should. Because everyone knows that there's massive magnets buried in the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle just to fuck up your compasses. That's exactly what happens. It's not no carburetor yet though, although goggles is a nice direction towards uh, getting a bit more loot and being able to actually search properly. And making me generally happier, generally happier overall. I mean, I'm not really going to complain that we got a nice, a nice shiny pair of goggles. But we shall head back to our island and we shall be on our way. So that says, there was another one towards the north. It was slightly east of north. But it looked like it was freaking miles out of the way, so I, th I decided against it, let's put it that way. It looked like it was going to cause me, like... End, me, end up with me having freaking carpal tunnel syndrome and repetitive strain injury and quite possibly my finger falling off from trying to click rapidly. I might just map a macro to constantly click onto one of my uh, my macro keys on my keyboard so I don't need to do this. So I can just sit here and hold the button down or press it once and it freaking goes for until it gets pressed again. Oh that would be a really good idea actually. I might just, I might just do that. Macroing games. Oh god. I feel sorry for uh, Life is Fudo because that's exactly what I've done with that as well. <laughs> Although I didn't use the macro buttons on my keyboard. I used, uh, I made a small program for it. Uh, that was good because I moved my mouse and everything. Whereas I don't need my mouse moving on this. I just, I literally need it to left mouse button for me. 
Oh, but that involves installing Razor Synapse again, and Razor Synapse is one of the worst programs ever developed by any company ever. It's almost as bad as McAfee or Norton Antivirus. Not an antivirus, the, vi the antivirus that gives you a virus if you don't pay. Or at least that's how I feel it. Um, basically whenever I used to work in the PC shop, like when you would get someone's computer in that had not an antivirus, you'd spend about as much time trying to get rid of not an antivirus or McAfee as you would try to get rid of any viruses that they actually had on the machine. It was a ridiculous software, ridiculous. It should be illegal for it to be that difficult to uninstall. And before you start in the comment section, yes, you can just use Revo and Revo Uninstaller will just wreck it. Which is awesome. But uh, yeah, if you try to uninstall it without installing Revo onto the machine, then you're generally alright. You're generally having issues there. Although I've not looked, maybe Revo has got a portable version that you can use. Revo's a good program if you're... Uh, Actually, I'd, I'd recommend it for absolutely everyone if you're ever uninstalling stuff. Steam is generally pretty good for uninstalling and not leaving traces of crap behind. But uh, generally, everyone should have a look at Revo Uninstaller Pro. Revo Uninstaller Pro! I should get paid by those fools. We should be at the arse end of our island. The arse end of our island. Should be at the back end of our island so we shouldn't see the little triple island until we get round this side. As far as I can tell anyway. Yep, there's our boat. <laughs> There's the boat. Our plane actually crashed off to the west. I wonder if you could go back and find the plane wreckage under sea. That would be cool. That would be cool. I know exactly where it was because I remember sailing in and that boat being on my right hand side. Sail sailing in. Like it was some majestic feat. Oh god. I remember sailing in in my little rubber boat. <laughs> Oh, what we need to do is we need to take off our under. Actually, I don't even know if this guy's wearing underwear. I was going to say we need to take off our underwear and attach it to a stick and use it as a sail. But uh, we, yeah, I have absolutely zero evidence that this man has any clothing on other than this watch. Because I can't look down and see my legs. That's frightening. See that? See if that was real life and you couldn't look down and see your legs. Be worried. Be very afraid. Real life survival situation. Can't see your legs. It's time to. Uh, I said maybe sit down and pray. <laughs> I'm not a praying man, but if I couldn't see my legs, I would be. Right, let's uh, let's chuck all of these. I mean, so overall, it wasn't that bad a haul. We got like twelve sticks. <laughs> yes, yeah, sticks. Oh God, is this what my life has become? Where sticks are a freaking bonus. Right, come on, lantern. Flip yourself up. Right, you know you want it. There we go. Ah, uh, all right. We're gonna need a couple of these coconuts chopped. Actually, I tell you what, what I'm gonna to want to do is I'm gonna to want to sleep first and then chop up some coconuts. Why you ask? Because if you don't sleep first, then when you wake up, you have a crap ton of missing food and stuff. So there's absolutely no point in getting yourself all nice and fixed up just to sleep and then wake up and have like a load of missing stuff. It's a nightmare, I tell you. See this uh, surviving situation? Not a fan. Alright, let's throw you away. Throw you away. And on top of that, it's always nice to do stuff during the light. Ah, there we go. Let's grab the coconut halves. You know, I don't mind sailing back during the night time because, I mean, all I'm doing is clicking constantly while pointing in the same direction. Oh no, I knocked down my lantern. Alright, so there we go. Did I have frickin' Oh my god, I hate how it does this. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the episode here because my item appears to be stuck in my frickin' hand. And I'm gonna have to save it and reload it. So as always guys, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.